First one, we will discuss what is the definition of tense in English grammar. Second one, what is the difference between tense and time. So, let us we'll talk about first one, definition of tense. Okay? So, everyone look at the blackboard and everything what I have given on the blackboard, remember in your mind. So let's we start first one. What is the definition of tense in English grammar? So tense is the time described by a verb shown by its grammatical form. Tense means form of verb that indicate time of action. So Difference between tense and time. Second one. Uh, next class, we will total, we will discuss about 12 tense form. So now, second one, what is the difference between tense and time? Our Total three kinds of tense, present tense, past tense, and future tense. So now let's start. Difference between time and tense. Time is used as a noun, but of times it is also used as a verb. Tense. Tense is used as an adjective verb and noun. The use of tense as a noun is the most important. Tense is a noun represents the field in grammar called tense. Next point, time. Time suggests the position of the sun. On the other hand, tense indicates the time of the occurrence of some events. It can thus be said that time is a subset of tense. So let's we start. What does tense mean? Already I have written three tenses present, past and future tense so we will total tenses we will describe with example so tense tense is a grammatical form that indicates the time of action it is of three kinds namely present tense past tense and future tense. Actually, present tense indicates an action that is performed of the moment as in the sentence. For example, already I have given on the blackboard, I play cricket every day. He played cricket yesterday. They will play cricket tomorrow. I play cricket every day. Present tense. He played cricket yesterday. Past tense. They will play cricket tomorrow. Future tense. In the first sentence, the verb play refer to the present tense. Already you can understand. In the second sentence, the verb Played. In the second sentence, the verb played refers to the action in the past. Remember children, total three examples. While the verb in the third sentence will play refer to the future sense. Future tense. 
Now, second one, what does time mean? Time is a grammatical category which is marked by verb inflection and expresses when an event or action happens in the flow of time. So, now we will discuss for example, already I have given first one, what is the time now? Second one, time is a hilier. Third one, how many times should I say this? Fourth one, time and again I have been saying this. Here, I will explain you the word time is used differently in all the four sentences given on the blackboard. In the first sentence, it is used to convey the position of the sun. In the second sentence, the word time is used in the general sense. Remember children, carefully observe on the blackboard and listen carefully. Third one, in the third sentence, the word time is used in the sense of number. Finally, fourth one, in the last sentence, the word is used to suggest the meaning again and again or several times. I think you can understood. Uh, okay students, I think you will have understood today's class is over. Next class we'll talk about 12 tense form details. Tomorrow again we will contact in the classroom. Thank you. Have a nice day.